While there's a quite a bit of focus on the snow to come, there's plenty already piled up after two consecutive days of snowfall. Mike Puccinelli joins us live from what looks like a pretty big snow pile. Can't even see the ground behind you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I have to tell you, as we pull out with the camera, you can see that this snow pile right here is probably about 15 feet high, and there are really piles like it all over Chicagoland. Ridgewood Circle looked more like Snowy Lane until a Downers Grove plow driver made quick work of the newly fallen snow. Rightway Snow Control also had its drivers out in force. Owner Danny Keene had been up all night, but he's not complaining after a relatively quiet winter for his business. We had a lot of salt events this year, a lot of icing and that, so uh, now it seems like Old Man Winter woke up and he's starting to uh, put, us, put the white stuff down for us to actually use the uh, push blades. IDOT blades hadn't made it to this section of I-80 East when this semi jackknifed before dawn, causing one of the many morning backups. This was Route 83 near Downers Grove a few hours later. Paul Ramos was preparing to enter the rush hour fray when we caught up with him after shoveling his driveway for the second straight day. Yesterday was worse. So much so that his shovel didn't survive. Uh, it was heavy. I broke this myself, so I'm proud of this. Um, <laughs> ben Holtzman also isn't a fan of the snow. Oh, I hate it. But not everyone in his house shares the sentiment. The only guys that like it is, are my dogs. They really, really like the snow. And, of course, the good news is that snow fell overnight, allowing plow drivers plenty of room to create massive piles like this one that you see behind me. The question is, in the days to come, will Mother Nature continue to cooperate? We'll have to wait and see. Reporting live in Forest Park, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Mike.